What we're going to do today is I want to show off Ubuntu 12.04 with its Unity desktop um, give a little introduction to how to use Unity um, how to use Ubuntu for those who've never used Ubuntu with the Unity desktop so that you know where you find what and how you get started so if anyone wants to try out Ubuntu that they have the chance to do so this is basically what you'll see once you reboot it after installing Ubuntu um, I did make some minor changes so that um, I can show off some things but um, nothing much so this is the desktop um, what you'll notice is to the left there's this um, bar which is called the launcher it's um, a little like the taskbar in Windows 7 and a lot like the dock in Mac OS X um, so there are numerous items attached to it um, I'm going to th go through these um, quickly starting at the top you see the dash which is probably one of the most important um, kind of menu items you'll use in Ubuntu it's a little like start in um, Windows and um, if you click on it you can also activate it by clicking um, the super key which is the Windows button on Windows keyboards and the command button on Mac keyboards you'll have an overview of recently used apps and files and you'll have a search bar where you can put in keywords and you'll be able to find applications that way um, which is pretty quick um, for example if we look for um, yeah, well, I don't know. Um, half of us are already there. Um, let's say system, I don't know, testing. Yeah, there it is. So you just start typing, and everything that matches what you enter will be displayed here. And um, also, for example, if we look for LibreOffice, which is the application. Um, um, office su suite here you'll um, in addition to the applications you'll also have the files and folders that include or are documents created with these applications down here um, with these um, tabs which are called lenses in Ubuntu um, you can filter your results so that you only look for applications which will also show you applications that are available for download you can filter only for documents and folders for music um, which will also show what is available for purchase and videos which will also show what's available online if you rather um, if you want to have it the way it's in Windows for example you can also simply go to the applications lens and you'll have a recently used and then you'll have the installed applications which are sorted alphabetically if you don't know the name um, or just prefer it that way and also then you'll have the apps available for download or at least some recommendations um, this is the dash which you'll use often I guess below there is Firefox which is the um, default web browser in Ubuntu we have LibreOffice Writer, Calc and Impress which are um, which are like Word and Excel and um, PowerPoint um, if you're familiar with Microsoft Office we have the Ubuntu Software Center which is a little like an app store um, Ubuntu One which is a Ubuntu cloud service which is also available for Windows, Android, iOS um, and also has a web interface and we have system settings and then we have workspaces which is um, for those who have some experience with Mac OS X you may be familiar with the concept of having multiple desktops those who have used Windows so far probably or may not so if you click on it 
you see an overview of multiple desktops on which you can put multiple items, programs and stuff so as to organize your um, work spaces. Um, you can also increase or decrease the number of available workspaces uh, with the program I showed off in another video of mine. Um, the program is called My Unity. And um, by double clicking you get to a workspace. You can also switch workspaces by um, pressing Control, Alt and a arrow key and you can move programs by just dragging them in this overview and um, by pressing Control or shift and an arrow key as I said well down here is the trash but as I said you can also um, change the icons here so uh, for example if you don't want Ubuntu 1 you can just right click and say unlock from launcher um, oops, uh, Maybe you want to add something else. So if you start another application that's not here in the launcher, it'll be added to the launcher for the time that it's being opened. So if we close it again, it's gone. And if we open it, we have the ability to um, right click and say lock to launcher. And then it's going to be there once you um, quit the application. You also have the, avail uh, the, the ability to um, reorder them by just clicking an application application here in the bar and you'll see it's um, you'll be able to move it to the destination that you want. Um, another thing is up here which is the panel um, and you'll have some basic um, you know what's like shutdown, system settings from can be accessed from here, some um, info about the active user, you'll have a calendar, um, which you can also we can access the time and time time and date settings, sorry. Um, and for example, by default it's only the only the clock is shown, I think. And I usually add the weekday and the date and month. You have some info about the volume, which you can um, increase or decrease, and then you'll have some basic um, controls of a rhythm box, which is Ubuntu's default music player, and you can also access the sound settings from here. Next to it are the networking informations and um, so networking information, and um, uh, if it's connected via an Ethernet cable, you'll have these two errors here. If it is um, if you're connected via Wi-Fi, you'll have um, a little antenna here uh, with some radio waves, waves displayed. And then you'll have a little envelope here, which will, for one, you can access your chat, which you can set up and connect to, for example, ICQ, Windows Live Messenger, Facebook, Google Talk, Jabber, IRC, and more. Um, and then you can set up an broadcast account which is a Twitter account and you can access your mail from here so if I click on mail Thunderbird opens which is the default mail client in Ubuntu 12.04 and if the envelope is blue you have a message of some kind which may be um, chat or mail or whatever else you got here and then you have the top bar here which will give you your menus most applications uh, use the bar to display their menus like in Mac OS X as you can see here there's no menu up here it will usually be docked here um, for some application it on applications uh, it only works when the application is in full screen uh, for the most applications it also works when the app is not in full screen so um, the only difference when in full screen is that the close minimize maximize buttons will be there as well now they're not an example for an application that doesn't use it yet because there have been some problems I think is LibreOffice there's a workaround which I can show you in another video um, to include it in the bar but um, by default it's 
here even if it's in full screen you only have the maximize minimize and close buttons here but the menu is displayed here um, yeah what I forgot to show you at the launcher is the home folder uh, which is like finder in um, Mac OS X it'll get you to your um, data you can access the file system from here but by default you'll be directed to your home folder which includes your documents, downloads, music, videos and stuff and of course you can put whatever you want here um, as well um, maybe I should show you the system settings um, which are analyze I think very good looking overview here um, in different categories and then sorted alphabetically and you can access the usual um, settings from here backup settings um, system details account settings uh, and of course you can go to appearance and change the desktop background note that the um, background image expands behind the um, launcher which is in addition to Ubuntu 1204 and I really like it, it looks very good I think. Um, what I'd recommend you do once you've installed Ubuntu and start up is check for updates even if you chose the um, download update um, bit while installing. Uh, usually you'll have um, some updates as you can see here um, um, as you can see here, um, there's some updates and I recommend you look for them and um, then click install which will download and install the updates. Um, if you minimize an application it is minimized in the um, launcher icon. A little indicator bar here um, shows the progress if something is, like a download is, or an installation is taking place and these two little arrows here indicate the number of um, windows that are opened by, open by those applications so for example in um, Firefox here you see this one if you have the application activated in, in the active window it'll show another arrow on this side so if I click on um, Thunderbird this one changes and it says two little arrows here because there are two windows open. If you um, well let's open a new window so that we have two here and now if we minimize them and we click the, the one that we used last will be activated and another click will um, give you an overview of both windows that are available for the application. Um, I'd also recommend you go to system settings and look for additional drivers once you've finished installing updates and stuff because there may be some drivers that you will need for your system to work properly and now the package information and the updates are done if you have to restart your machine um, for the updates to be completed um, it will say so here at the top otherwise you can just close also if the um, little gear here ever turns red it'll also be an indicator that you'll have to restart for some updates to finish which will also be displayed here uh, so that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed this little introductory video uh, be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos